Hey guys, MPTV, Matt Piper, Soccer Mentor. Um, a lot of people been asking um, to explain in more in detail about my crossing video, my wide man video. So the best way to do it is to, to do it on a board for you all. Um, so you can try and understand it a little bit better. Um, I'm not good at drawing, so bear with me. But if this is the six yard box, here's the 18 yard box, here's the penalty spot. Okay, let's say we've got a defender here, X. X is the defender. Circle is the wide man. Okay, so first of all, running through the crosses that I talked about for you all. So the cross. I spoke about driving it into the box in front of your man. You don't have to take him on down here. You can drive the cross in front of him. All right. The area you want to aim for. All right. Don't worry about the strikers. All right. When I played in the Premier League, I never used to look up, and really, very rarely did I pick a man out. What I used to do is put it in areas, uh, and as you play more with the strikers. You, you start to understand where they're going to make their runs and they start to understand where as a wingman, as a wide man, where you're going to put the ball. Alright, so the area, the most dangerous area, I spoke about it on the videos, the area you want to aim for is called the second six yard box, which is here, which is basically, this is the goalkeeper's area. Alright, if any crosses come into this area, the goalkeeper is going to clean that up really if he's a decent goalkeeper. So when we talk about as a wide man aiming for the second six yard box, this is the area that we're talking about. All right, this is the area here, the second six yard box. In between the six yard box line and the penalty spot. Second six yard box. Okay, so this first cross, you don't have to take the man on down the line. You can drive it in front of it, all right, into the area. All right, normally you'd hit that, hit that pass, hit that cross with your laces, all right? So it's driven. So it gets in there at speed, okay? Catches everyone. Because the reason why we talk about the second six yard box, defenders running back towards their own goal, along hopefully with your attackers running in, okay? We're hoping that this ball in the second six yard box, if one of our attackers can't get on the end of it, a defender running back towards his own goal might get a deflection on it and send it towards his own net. Okay, that's why we talk about the second six yard box. The next cross that I talked about was, once again, you don't have to take him on down the line. You can use him as a guide and as a marker to cross the ball around him into that second six yard box. All right, so you don't have to take him on. This one, you're gonna use the inside of your foot. And if you check out my curling video, how to curl the ball, that's the kind of ball, and you wanna play that ball into that area with plenty of pace. All right, really whip your foot around it. You'll get it round this guy, round the guy you, you're uh, up against, and bring it once again into this second six yard box. The next one we looked at, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth on this one. The next one we looked at is a little skill, a little trick. Take him on. Can you get to the byline? If you get to the byline, then you've got a few more options. I never spoke about this on the Wide Man DVD, on the Wide Man video. You've got a few more options. If you can get to the byline, number one, you can get your head up, and then because you're closer, and it's much easier to pick someone out, all right? Can you have a look up? Is your attacker running to the front post? Maybe you can play him in. Is there someone at the back post? Maybe you can stand the ball up, all right, to the back post, pick him out. Or can we cut it back to a midfielder running in for a strike on the edge of the box? All right, so you can pick someone out. You can stand it up to the back post. When you're standing it up to the back post, you really want to dig your foot under it. Look at my chip videos, Lionel Messi chip videos. 
that was them videos were for trying to score a goal but you can also use that in this situation all right get to the byline stand it up beats the men at the front post that are running to the front post the defenders maybe you've got your other wide man coming in on the back post all right or we can pull it back for a midfield runner to get a strike at goal alternatively you can use last option you can use this is if you get to the byline you can use uh, Valencia Valencia for Man United it's quite simple what he does really he gets to the byline and then he absolutely smashes the ball across the six yard box all right he's hoping for what I spoke about earlier he's hoping for deflections He's hoping that one of his strikers can get on the end of it. Or even a keeper might stick out a leg, it hits him and goes in his own net. All right? That's why Valencia, when he gets in them positions, he really smashes the ball across. All right? when, you're doing, when you're doing that kind of cross, in that kind of position, you want to use your laces, get your knee over the ball and really drill through the ball. Okay, really smash it across. Keep your knee over it so it stays low. You don't want, when you're smashing it from that position, you don't want to get your knee higher than the ball so it sends it high because obviously unless you've got Peter Crouch in there you're going to be, you're going to be struggling to have someone get on the end of it um, hope that's gone into a little bit more detail sorry about the drawings um, let me know if you like this idea of doing it on a chalkboard if not I've been the idea and we'll go back to the, the videos outside thanks for watching see you again soon Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.